forgetting. But I think it's called a... What's it called? Is it a golden jasmine or lemon jasmine or something? I'm going to have to look it up again. Oh dear, it's coming out of my ear. But it's just a very pretty plant. It smells of nothing. And one of the rare few where you open the book and there it is. Yes, and so often these things that look delightful, the yellow flowers, don't smell of a great deal. I'm just going to have to reconfirm the name. I haven't found... I haven't managed to find Judy H's uh, Hibiscus Micrantha just yet, but I will do, and as I do that I'll tell Rebecca wants to know, um, is it mostly yellow flowers that don't smell? Rebecca, it's often any flowers that aren't white that don't smell. It's very seldom that flowers that aren't white, other than sort of roses, canary nettle, it's got nothing to do with jasmine at all, canary nettle. How did I get lemon jasmine from canary nettle, do you suppose? So normally, if a plant invests, uh, I'm just shocked by myself there, if a plant invests energy in making colours to attract vectors, seldom will it invest energy in making scent. So none of the pink flowers or yellow flowers out here smell. It's only the white ones. Some have got a subtle smell, especially the green ones. You know, the ones that really have made no effort in, to make themselves look good. <laughs> 